fish fanatics and aquaculture experts came from as far as Libya, Mauritania and even France to exhibit at this year's event. Algeria's Minister for Fisheries and Haleotic Resources says the International Fair of Fisheries and Aquaculture has given the sector a big boost. This fair comes after the initial roadmap policy. And I think, as you can see, all the partners, including clients and fishermen and people from other sectors, have mobilized to develop this sector to have a promising future on the economic level as well as in the integration level. The aim of this fair is to find solutions that will improve this sector and keep it going forward. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, which aims to strengthen aquaculture-related legislation, also took part in the fair. Libyan exhibitors made their debut too, with the country's director of marine resources saying he hoped it would help strengthen bilateral ties in the sector. This is our first post in Algeria and we aspire to build bridges of cooperation between the Algerian and Libyan companies in the field of sea fishing. We wish to take advantage of the Algerian experience in the field and to explore joint investment in the field of sea fishing. Sharing experience and know-how is an important part of the event. The Korea International Cooperation Agency sees the opportunity to promote its training courses to fishery specialists across various fields. Uh, the reason why we participate in this, uh, uh, this event is to promote our successful results to the Algerian people so that we try to increase the uh, fishery industry in Algeria. Experts from the shipbuilding industry and groups specializing in the transfer of fish products also took part. Algeria's ministry hopes the event will help move the country's fishing industry forward in a responsible and sustainable way. Clementine Logan, CCTV.